Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this one's going to be pretty quick and painless for the most part. Uh, it's more of a follow-up video to a video that I did about uh, slow motion uh, using DaVinci Resolve and how to take your high frame rate clips and make them slow motion but also keeping it at the regular speed and kind of doing that fast slow fast thing or slow fast slow depending on what you want to do and how to do it uh, relatively easily. Uh, I got a comment in uh, that video um, about uh, why the, why was it so complicated and why couldn't you just drag that uh, clip down to the uh, timeline and then slow it down from there. So this video is, is doing that and you can do that. Um, to me, and I, you know, not just to me, but I think in general there's just more steps to the process or one sort of major step to that process uh, that makes it a little less easy to do um, or easy to work with. Uh, the other way in the other video I find is just the easiest and simplest way of, of doing it. Um, so this is kind of going to be kind of an example. Uh, so I've got this clip here, um, skateboard video, um, that was shot at 120 frames per second on a GoPro. So that is considerably faster than, uh, than, than or higher frame rate than, than what you would normally shoot, say 24 frames per second. Uh, and if you go to, to here and then you check the project settings, this is the way I do all my project settings, primarily for YouTube. So 1080p is going to be the, uh, the timeline resolution, timeline being this thing down here where you work on all your stuff. Timeline frame rate is 24 frames per second and the playback frame rate is 24 frames per second. So the end result is going to be 24 frames per second, right? Regardless of what you shoot it at. If it was shot at 120, at 60, whatever, right? At 4K, 2.7K, whatever. The end result is going to be this, right? So if you take this 120 frames per second clip, and if I click on this and I go to clip attributes, in DaVinci Resolve it shows it as custom, right? So it's 120 frames per second. I've isolated a little section that I want to put into the timeline. I take this 120 frames per second clip and I'm going to drag it down onto the timeline. What has that done? It has now taken that 120 frames per second clip and made it 24 frames per second. That's exactly what the person asked. Why can't I just drag it down to the timeline? and change it, right? That's fine. Okay, so now what does it do? It plays it at 24 frames per second. It doesn't play it in slow motion, but I want it to be slow motion. So what do I do? I right click on it. I hit change clip speed. This thing pops up and I go, okay, got to do some math. 24 frames per second timeline. I want it to play at 120 frames per second. It's about 25%. So I drop this down to 25%. You can either type it in or you can just drag uh, let's make that up to 20, yeah, 26 is close enough. Right? Click on change. It has changed that little snippet of a clip. Whereas if I do it here, I have the whole thing from beginning to end, from here to here, that I want. I drag that down to the timeline. It played fine. The whole clip played fine at 24 frames per second from beginning to end. But now that I've slowed it down, what does it do? This is what it does. It's slow motion. Awesome. Great. Ends right there. All right. So you've just added a step to the process. Now what are you going to do? All is not lost. You can do it. And this is what I was saying by adding a step to the process that the other video doesn't do or the other technique doesn't do. So you can grab this end here of your, your clip and you can drag it out to where you want it to end. And I'll end it right about here, which is basically where my in and out points of my original clip were, right? I, I, but again, I've just added a step to the process that I didn't need to do, right? So now the whole clip is going to play at 24 frames per second, right? In nice, smooth, slow motion, right? <clears throat> so like I said, you can do it. You just added a step to the process. But what I want to do is I want to add those little in and out or those little speed points. So it goes fast to slow. So same process. Hit, uh, hit your timeline. Control R. <coughs> Find where you want to uh, add your speed point. This is good here. Click on that little arrow. Add a speed point. Scrub forward to where you want it to go back in. Arrow, speed point. And this is where it's, it is the opposite of what the other clip did or the other uh, video did. In the other video, the beginning and the end were at 100%. 
right? Regular speed, 24 frames per second, regular speed. And I wanted to slow the middle down, right? Well now, same thing, but the whole thing is slow motion. So I want to slow, or I want to speed up the beginnings and ends of this, right? So I change the speed to the first section at 100%, change the ending section to 100%, which again, adds another step to the process that I didn't have to do in the other one. All I had to do is just change the speed of the center section. So now I've got fast, slow, fast, right? So if I play it back, regular speed, slow, back to regular speed. So there you go. You can do it this way. You can take your clip directly from here, set your in and out points uh, of where it, the clip that you want to, uh, to slow down or speed up or whatever in the viewer and you can drag it down there and you can slow it down and you can extend it out but again you're just adding a step to the process and this is why i find that the previous technique or the te technique in the other video is better than this way of doing it there's just fewer steps to the process so i was going to just answer the question in the comments but i figured i would just do this video to show how and why the other technique is better than this one right you can do it but the other way is better Alrighty, uh, and from here then you just uh, export the clip and away you go you'll end up with the same thing but the other system is better all right thanks for watching guys and i will see you again in the next video bye